Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you some handy fixes for some finder troubles you might be having in Mac OS X Lion. A lot of these are pretty simple, but they can be annoying if you don't know how to fix them. So first, we're just going to open up a new finder window to get started. Now you can see here that when I opened my finder window, it by default it went to Macintosh HD. Uh, but you might notice with Lion that it might be going to all my files as a default location when you open a new finder window. Now you can solve this pretty easily by going up to the finder menu next to the Apple logo and clicking on preferences. Then you'll see here under the general tab, there's a new handy little selection box here that says new finder windows show and I have it set on Macintosh HD. It might say all my files. I prefer Macintosh HD, you might like your home directory or something. Uh, but what's nice is that you can click other and you get a full file browser here and you can choose any folder. So that's pretty neat as well, so I'm just going to select Macintosh HD. Now the next thing you might be missing with Lion is down at the bottom here, you might have had a status bar that showed how many gigabytes you have available, as well as a path bar that shows you the path. And if those are missing or you'd like to see those, what you can do is go up to the view menu, and you, there's a couple different buttons here. First of all, show status bar. And uh, you can see here that it shows the available amount of gigabytes on my drive. And this is how it looked in Leopard and Snow Leopard. In Lion, the default is to not show that. Another thing you can do is go up and click Show Path Bar. And you can see a little path there. Now, if you don't like the gray icons on the sidebar at all and you just don't want to see the sidebar, you can also click Hide Sidebar from here, and that'll all go away. Personally, I think it's much more useful with the sidebar, but if you don't like how it looks, you can get rid of that too, so that's just a little handy tip. Now, another thing you might not like with Lion is the fact that all my files shows on the sidebar as default right at the top always. Now while you can drag this around and arrange it, if you don't want it there at all, you can see if I drag it off, it doesn't work. Uh, but there's two different ways that you can get rid of all my files. First of all, you can right click on it and hit remove from sidebar and that'll get rid of it. Or you can go up to finder once again and preferences and then click on the sidebar tab right here and you can select what you'd like to see on your sidebar right here. So I can check all my files, get rid of it. Maybe I don't ever use AirDrop, so I don't want that either. And it's really nice how you can show and hide different items. Now another thing that bothered me with the Finder with Lion is the fact that the fonts on the sidebar looked rather big. And I looked all over, if you go into the Finder Preferences and look around, I looked all over here and I couldn't find anything. I even right clicked on the window and hit Show View Options, which is another thing that you can do. And I looked at the text size here. but that only changes the text size for the folders and I just couldn't find anything that would change the font size because it was just very big and if I had a find window that was a little bit smaller everything was always scrolling because the text was so big that it you know forced it to scroll and I didn't really like that so it took me a lot of digging around but I found that if you go into system preferences and you click on the general tab yeah, it's kind of a weird spot for it, uh, but under general you have sidebar icon size, and it's by default set at medium here. Now you can set it up to large, and large actually looks kind of neat other than the fact that it's, you know, pretty huge, uh, but the icons are bigger, and I think it looks kind of cool, but what I like to set it on is small, and this is more of how it looked in Leopard and Snow Leopard. So, so if you're used to Leopard and Snow Leopard, that's a nice thing to have. You can see more of the text without having to increase the sidebar size, and it just looks nice so you can keep your finder window size down a little bit. So those are some things that you can do to revert the finder status back to how it was in Leopard and Snow Leopard if you preferred it that way. If you have any other things that you'd like to see how to do with Finder in Lion, or anything about Mac OS X and iOS in general, please feel free to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.